I love RuneScape. It's a vast world with seemingly endless literal and metaphorical mountains to climb. If you ask any of my friends, I'm literally probably always playing old school RuneScape. I love this game so much. And with Jagex recently adding in so much new content to the game, I really wanted a challenge that tests my luck with the very foundation of this game. See, when you do things in RuneScape, whether it's killing a goblin, or fishing, or mining, or even opening a cabinet, the game checks a drop table to see what you get. Sometimes, like mining, you always get a resource of that rock's type, but other times, you get to roll the dice on a drop table. The goal is this. Attempt to beat all of the free-to-play quests in the game, and beat all free-to-play bosses on a free-to-play account. This is something that can be done relatively quickly on a regular account, but we're gonna have some restrictions. And I am still working on these restrictions, so let me know what you think. We can only kill until we reach the lowest chance to get an item on an enemy's regular drop table. For example, the lowest drop chance for a level two goblin in Lumbridge is a brass necklace, an air talisman, or the coveted one in 128 single coin drop. So this means that I can only kill a maximum of 128 level 2 goblins on this account. If I miss out on a quest item, that quest goes to the back of the line behind Dragon Slayer. On top of this, there will be a cursed item that we will pick at the beginning of the grind. This cursed item has to be either an account upgrade or a desired drop. Sorry, cabbages. So, if we get this drop, the grind ends prematurely and I no longer have access to that enemy. The third rule is that we cannot access shops or utilize item spawns across the map. But, items that require an action to produce an item are fair game. For example, the garlic and Draenor, or wheat giving grain. And for our final major rule, once we start a drop chance grind, we need to finish it. If we accidentally or intentionally kill something else before the grind is over, the grind is done on the spot and I lose access to that grind. I have to move on to whatever I killed instead. Now for the minor details. If we come across an enemy that has exclusively always items in their drop table, we can kill and loot that enemy indefinitely. For example, we can kill as many cows as we wish, but chickens, which have mostly always items in their drop table, can only be killed four times thanks to this feather drop. I will be a normal Iron Man for this, and normal death rules apply. I also have full access to any random events or beginner clue scrolls that come my way, as the majority of these give cosmetic items or XP lamps, so they don't seem too game-changing for the account. One of the rules I'm having issues with is whether or not I can smith armor. I have to do smithing regardless for quests, but I feel like only having armor I get from drops and taking on Dragon Slayer would be a wild ride for this account. But the progression of smithing doesn't really hinder us too much, since realistically it would be a miracle if I get to anything above mithril smithing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Also, all the footage for today was captured over on my Twitch channel, so if you want to be there while we do these grinds, check the link down below. At the time of uploading this, I should be live, so come say hi. Now let's test these tables. Let's just get into it, dude. <clears throat> oh, yeah. T display name is big. There's no way that Table Man is taken, right? Table Man is not available. Six Grave. These are just bot names. Why do I think Cloud Word? Table Terry, maybe. The table Terry is available. Okay, sure. We'll set it. We'll do it. <laughs> Table Terry. At least it's not a bot name, right? Okay, let's make uh, let's make a table. He is a man that lives and dies by the table. His coat is the table. His bond is the table. His pillow, body pillow, is the table. Yeah, that's huge. All right, are you gonna let me skip? I don't think I can, unfortunately. Okay, we'll just blast through this tutorial as fast as possible. I've done it so many times, so we'll we'll be it'll be easy. Thanks for the runes, bro. I'm gonna fuck up this chicken. Nice, I mean. <laughs> yeah, send me to the mainland. All right, baby. Send me. Send me. I kind of wish it made you home teleports and then it directly taught you about home teleporting, but uh, whatever. Table man starts now. Um, I, I'm kind of terrified of the imps, right? I'm kind of terrified because it locks out so much. So much if I don't get the certain drops from them, but we'll have to select 
Let's get the let's get them pulled up here quick. Essentially, what I want is a bucket of some kind. They have two two buckets on here. A pot of some kind because they got two of those on there. Tinderbox would be big. Hammer would be big. I don't know if hammer would be big. Oh, we need hammer actually. Is there anything else that drops hammer? Oh, there's a lot to drop hammer. Goblin guards, goblins. Okay. So hammer's not too out of the way. We, 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 we have a good chance of getting hammer. Um, also, tertiary drops do not matter for this. But we have 128 kills of, of imps. Um, we need shears. Wait a minute. We need shears for sheep shearer. Oh, imps the only way. Oh, okay. Oh my god, imps are insane. I can have the chef's hat, I guess? That's not really an upgrade. All right, well, I guess it is technically an upgrade because it does provide armor, no? Of some kind? Provide something? Uh, it lets me into the Cook's Guild at 32. There's so few reasons to have this be the option that I, I feel like I can't select... I just feel like I can't select it. And if there's any different types of enemies, so like the God Wars dungeon or the Wilderness God Wars dungeon imps could theoretically be an option for me. Unfortunately, those are both members content, so that's big. Honestly, having a chef's hat isn't a bad move. So this is really just the only place I can get a... Oh, I can make a pot, right? I can make a pot. Okay, whoa, 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 this changes a lot. Okay, hold on. I can make a pot. I think we put pot as our cursed item. The pot as our cursed item, because regardless, we'll at least get a pot, right? Pot or chef's hat, because potion, I, I feel bad about. Chef's hat makes sense and potion, or er, and pot makes sense. So do we just flip a coin? So heads, I think it's pot, and tails is chef's hat. Let's do it. Oh, thank God. Okay. We can kill imps, either 128 imps, or whenever we get a chef's hat, then we're done. Whatever happens first. We're hoping for at least one pot, maybe a bucket. There's so much we need from these imps. The beads, first and foremost, I think. I have zero attack stat. What just happened? <laughs> what? What? No! All right, baby. First kill, let's go! I'm getting so ripped right now. So let's see what we get from the first kill. Oh my god, our accuracy is horrible. We de-aggroed! Okay, oh my god. That's huge. That's really big. Blackbeat as the first kill? Okay, okay, okay. That's one of four, baby. Yeah, nothing drops a regular crossbow. Also, I... Is, are crossbows melee? Or, uh... No, crossbows are not members. Okay. Oh, my God! Back-to-back oh. <laughs> -back beads! There's no way! There's no way! There's no way! Back-to-back -back beads. Wow. Okay. Sure. Okay, third drop, a bucket, oh, a bucket, oh, yeah, baby, okay, okay, things are looking up, things are looking good, that's our first kill on those in, like, five minutes, so it's nice that we got a bucket, I, I think this might be the first time anyone's ever been excited about a bucket in the history of ever, but we have the bucket. Level four. Okay, clay. So regardless of if we get a pot, we've got a pot, I think. How much crafting do we need to make a pot? One, we need literally one. Okay. Okay. I feel like if I attack them over here, they have more of a chance of teleporting over there. What a unit. Oh my God. <laughs> do they even attack? Wait a minute, do they attack at all? I feel like I remember dying to imps back in the day. Do imps just not attack? Ooh, raw chicken. Okay. 
Raw chicken's nice. How much do I get from scattering one of these? Ten! Ten? That's pretty good for pair XP. Okay, dude. Okay. A blue wizard hat! Ain't no way, dude. Ain't no... Oh, we look so good, dude. I can't believe it. Okay. This has been a first... These first six kills have been pretty good. I, uh... I'm terrified every time we get to kill one, but, uh... It's been turning out all right. It's been... It's been okay. You know you wanna. Don't lose its aggro. Just kill it. And, oh, come on! Just kill it! Thank you! Okay. Uh, more clay. Okay, so now we got a better chance of getting a pot. Because uh, I think you can burn pots, I think? I'm actually unsure about that. I don't know if you can burn pots or not. I've, I've, to be fair, I've never made a pot before. <laughs> there's, there's literally zero reason to make a pot on any normal account. I'll listen to it. Oh, attack level four. And a mind talisman. That's so good. I was so worried that we weren't going to get a mind talisman and we would just be able to craft air runes. That's so good, dude. That's so good. I mean, you can eat onions, but like, can you eat onions raw in this game? I don't think so, right? Also, there's a food item in this game. It's, uh, hey, hold on. Okay, grain, big. There's a food item in this game called potato with tuna and sweet corn. Brother, I make that shit all the time and I learned it from this game. It's so good. You get some frozen sweet corn, some tuna, Put that bitch on a potato. Oh my god. It's so good. Okay. What do we get? No! Oh! No! Oh no! Okay. Wow, that's so unlucky, dude. That's so unlucky. Well, we can't get these. Those are just not acceptable. Any, uh, we can't get them from anything else, right? No. Can we? We can't even make an amulet of accuracy. I don't think. No, you can't. Man, we're so locked out, dude. So I guess the only thing that we can make is like a holy symbol. Oh. Bro, we were gonna have so much prayer XP. Oh, okay. Well, I think what we do is we go and we make the pots that we can make at the Barbarian Village. Huh, please. Okay, we got a pot. Oh, we got a pot, okay. Okay, we got two pots, good. So, I guess we'll go for goblins next. Goblins, we need to kill... Uh, we have the option of killing up to 128 of them. Um, we have a chance of getting a bronze spear, a bronze square shield. I think the the air talisman is 100% going to be the drop, uh, the cursed item. Air talisman, 100%. It's the one thing that we need from the goblins that actually unlocks anything for us. Um, because, again, the one that we get from the Rune Mysteries quest, we can't use after the quest. It's a quest item, and we're given it so we can complete the quest that way. Um, but it's not something that we can use to actually train the skill. We need this Air Talisman. Because I, I mean, we can get it from other things, but this is going to be our best shot this early in the game to get an Air Talisman. You can just put your hand over it, you know, and the water runs through your hand, assuming it's a clean hand. All right, let's start these goblins, dude. Anything else is is gravy, but air talisman's the only thing that we actually absolutely need from the goblins. You need the goblin mail for diplomacy? Don't I need multiple of the go- No, because you can get the goblin mail from a chest. That's not a spawn? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> fuck you! That's cute, game. That's really cute. I will say, that's really cute. That the first goblin kill is a chef's hat. That's really cute. I kind of want the red cape, too. I really want the red cape. I don't think we can get the red cape from these ones, though. 
money. We take money. That's our first money. That's our first money drop of this entire thing. The one drop that I do want, I know that this is a drop from these guys. They have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping a single coin. I really want that drop really badly. That would be so funny. That would be such a big W for this account to get the 1 in 128 single coin drop. Never knew you could get Gobble Mail in any other way other than killing them. Yeah, there's a chest in one of the buildings that you can get the Gobble Mail from. Or I think it's, it might be a sack or a pile of bags or something. I don't know. But there's a way to get it over there. You don't actually have to kill these guys to get it. So if not just for my stats alone, I want to <laughs> I, I want to make sure that we get as many of these goblin kills as possible. And any sort of item. If we don't get weaponry off these guys, I think we'll have to kill men after this. Another hammer? Okay. Kind of lame, but it's fine. And we're going to pick up everything, too. We're going to pick up every single thing and bank it. Besides, like, bones we'll bury, obviously, and ashes we'll bury. But I want, it, I want our bank to be as full as possible, full of all the junk that we get throughout this, these grinds. I want, I want it to be a fucking wasteland in there. I'm done. I want to leave. I, I'm glad I get my two chef's heads. Thank you. Wait, if I die, can I pick up my bones? I mean, that's a drop, right? What a question. I'll, I'm not gonna pick them up for now, but if you have a, if you have a feeling one way or another, let me know. Uh, can I pick up my own bones and bury them for unlimited prayer XP? It'll never end. Oh, first goblin mail, baby. Technically, a monster did not drop them. I am a monster, though. Water runes? I'll take water runes. I'll take literally any runes you throw at me, game. Because I'm not going to be getting many water runes in this game. I'm just going to say it. I don't even know. I mean, I guess, theoretically, if I go up and go fight each one of the elemental wizards, they have their own drop table, so they would all count individually. But that would be like it's an entire stream in itself. Also, any food you want to throw my way, I'll, uh, I'll take that too. What is, what world am I on that there's so many fucking people right now? Are there this many, the co oh, so these are just bots. There's no way that these guys aren't bots, right? The boss, and then a five digit number. Ice cold, then a five digit number. Come on now. I think that'll be the hardest part of this grind is finding enemies in botted areas that aren't being killed by something else. Because I don't get kill credit for things that I don't kill completely. We're getting so fucking loaded with money, dude. Is there somebody cutting these? What's happening here? Did somebody just run by, cut them, and leave? Hello? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Sure. All right, first prayer drop. Wait, should I save? Wait, I, maybe I should save the bones. We'll save the bones for now. We'll save the bones. Because I want to see if I can use them on the chaos altar. If I can't, then... Well, I'm fucked, I guess. I'm so worried about the dwarves. If we don't get a pickaxe, I think we're kind of fucked for a lot of things. I mean, we're definitely fucked for a lot of things, not getting more than 10 kills on the imps. But, uh... The, the dwarves, all, we, need a, we need the pickaxe. Which, I mean, theoretically, we could make a pickaxe, right? If we get enough smithing XP and we get bronze bars from something. Hello, Rick. Oh, thank you, Rick. Are you fucking kidding me? Come on! I mean, it's fine, right? It's fine, but like, really? 27 in, you give me the air talisman. Okay. So no real upgrades to the account, but we do have access to airstrike infinitely. Assuming we get a pickaxe. I think we, we pivot from going straight to dwarves and we need to go kill men. I think we need to go kill, we need to go kill men. What's our cursed item? What is our cursed item? I'm thinking iron dagger because iron dagger is such an upgrade or, or maybe earth talisman. Because er having unlimited Earth Strikes would be pretty big. It's got to be Iron Dagger. It, it has to be Iron Dagger. Iron Dagger would be such a big upgrade. We got shafted on both. This cursed item thing is annihilating us. All right, dude. Let's kill our first man. Homicide, here we come. I'm so, I'm so low level. I'm such a low level. 
Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill this guy. Maybe? I'm so low level. I was hoping to at least get to like combat level 10 off of the first two grinds. Bronze arrow is nice. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to completely rethink this because I can't kill a level 9 or a level 10 right now. Okay. Bronze Man Helm! Oh my god! Our first defensive upgrade! Oh thank god. Wait, men and women are different? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Unfortunately, the only gear upgrade I can get beyond this bronze helm, which don't get me wrong, I'm very appreciative that I gave it to me this early, is the iron dagger. So I'm not going to be killing anything much faster until I get an iron dagger. I'm really curious to see how many men and women we, we have to fucking grind through to get an iron dagger. We have 128 of them total, so we'll see. But uh, man, this has been... Arguably, this has been rough, I will say. I can't even use bronze throwing knives. So I, I can't train ranged unless I get a bow from something. And I get enough ammunition. I mean, I'm getting bronze arrows, don't get me wrong. But I, I ranged is out of the question for us. For any of the YouTube watchers out there, I... Uh, this is a bit of an inside insider information from the stream. I'm listening to Lips of an Angel by Hinder right now, and it's really funny. I feel like I'm in an edit right now, killing these people, listening to Lips of an Angel. So maybe I'll maybe I'll insert a little bit in the video. I don't know. Mm. Fishing bait. That's um worthless. Oh, our first mind rune drop. We just need some air runes. And we can, uh, oh wait, no, I don't want to kill you yet. My inventory's full. I mean, if we can use Chaos Altar, that's going to be really big for us long term. Otherwise, I think the best, <laughs> I think the best bones that we have realistically are big bones. And, uh, big bones are five apiece. So that's spooky. This will be our 30th kill, baby. Let's make it clean. Clean? Thank you. All right. Or you could just take your hands and put all the fruit in your hands and just hold it there for like 10 seconds. Then they'll be nice and warm. You're... Oh, please die. I, why is this taking so long to kill this lady? Please die. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh my god, our first clue scroll. All right, we have to do this. So this is this this is another part of all this. With clue scrolls, we do them as we get them so that we don't end up getting a potential to uh Oh, I need a fucking spade. How do I get a spade? There's actually no way for us to get a spade. There's no way for us to get a spade unless it's at a spawn. Oh no. Oh no, we can't get a spade. Well, I mean, we theoretically could do a clue scroll. We just can't do any of the ones that have you dig. So we just need to get rid of this clue scroll, I guess, and hope for a new one. If we can't do a spade, I guess. All right, let's throw it on the ground. Well, we got our first clue scroll. What's the chance of getting a clue scroll on that? I, I'm curious. I think it's like a one in 128. I wouldn't, I would assume uh, one in 90. So better than I thought, but. Can I get, can I do easy clues on a free count? I don't think I can. I think it's just beginner and I definitely wouldn't be able to do most of the steps actually. So let's uh, let's just, just nip that in the butt. I guess Ernest, Ernest the Chicken happens after Dragon Slayer because we, we need a spade. I'm really hoping for that Iron Dagger right now because maybe we kill muggers after this if we don't get the Iron Dagger. This has by far been our longest grind, I will say. Oh, we're hitting now. Oh, that's nice. I don't know. It's been, maybe once we complete all the free-to-play tasks in this, we could uh, we could always turn this into a mem member's account. That really opens up the world for things that we can do, but uh, it's, it's a possibility. I'd be down for opening this up to a member's account. Earth Talisman! That's that was okay. I'm really glad I didn't select that as my uh, as my cursed item. That was the other option. 
Okay. Okay. So we've gotten literally everything that we would want from from these guys, except for the dagger, because it, it would be so that beginner clue scroll. Oh wait, did those stay for an hour now? So I'm just gonna be taunted every time I come up here by that beginner clue. Nice. Okay. I know they had talked about that increasing it from three minutes to two hours or an hour, but man. It's demoralizing seeing a clue scroll that I just straight up can't do sitting at the bank every time I go back. Yeah. Oh! Oh! I, did, I, did, I was updating the rules! I didn't even see! Come on. Okay. That's... That's not great. Charlie the Tramp is not a great clue to get because I can only really do one of them for now. I could eventually get to the point where I can craft the leather items, but uh, okay, we'll see what he wants. Because if it's any of the fish, it's no game. We, we can't do the fish. All right, let's see what Charlie wants. It could just be a fish and it's a, it's a drop, but which we can use teleport spells, right? I mean, theoretically, we could use all these spells, assuming that we get the, the, the runes for them. So, I mean, we're probably not going to be teleporting much because I don't think there's much that we'll be able to kill that will drop law runes, at least for a long, long time. But uh, it's possible. All right, Charlie, what do you want me to get for you? Please don't have it be a fish, but like half the things you need are a fish. So please don't have it be a fish. Leather body. Okay. Leather body is going to take a while, but we can make a leather body. Okay. This is one that we can actually put potentially do and we just want to hope that it either ends on the first step or has a hot and cold afterwards or something or like an anagram or something i guess that'll be our next grind might as well get 14 crafting so that whenever we get a charlie the tramp one we can just craft it quick all right here comes a hundredth kill earth rune. oh we'll take earth runes we take earth runes every day of the week Chaos Rune, Iron Dagger, and a 25 drop for coins, which we've gotten a couple times. It's the only thing keeping us here for 28 more kills. So can we maybe, pretty please, get uh, a dagger? I don't want to punch whatever I have to do next. Which, if I don't get a, a weapon, I think I just have to go kill muggers. Oh, we're at 15 hit points? Oh, we're so healthy, dude. I guess I could make all leather armor eventually, and that could be my armor. But a lot of the things I'm going to be going up against are going to be melee hitting. I mean, it'll be nice. I'll definitely need that before I go kill wizards. But again, I'll leave that for if people decide if I can do smithing. Because I think crafting armor for wearing kind of falls into that same category. And I don't know if I want to do that or not. But creating it for a clue scroll, I'm, I'm totally down with doing that. I don't really care that much if it comes to a clue scroll. I feel like I should try and get some more attack levels before I'm done with this grind. Because whatever I go up against next, I, I feel like I'm going to need the attack level, so I might just switch early. Oh, oh my... F <laughs> Cabbage? Really? That's another one in 120. I've gotten, I think, both of them now, right? So I got the cabbage, and I've... Oh, I didn't get the chaos room. But I've gotten the coins. I've gotten the cabbage. So I've gotten two of the four one in 128s. This is the 114th kill. What do we get? Nice. Nothing. <laughs> That's big. Oh! Oh. All right, dude. Well, I guess the human and <sighs> man, the human the human grind ends there. I. According to the rules, if I kill something else that... Okay, so we can't kill men anymore. Or, or ladies. We can't kill either of them anymore. That's the end of the grind. Which, I mean, it's pretty, 114 is pretty close. So what is your drop table, my guy? Oh, you don't even give me a weapon. Muggers are worthless. Okay, good to know. Uh, is there anything... Just to, I want to make... I'm scouring the world to see if there's any enemy... Do you drop anything, Spider? No. See if there's anything I can kill that I don't typically kill. Also, the rats don't drop anything, so it was just truly a waste. If I go and take on dwarves right now, I'm just... Go oh, my first exam! 
Oh, my first exam. Oh, uh, a trick you can do for this is after you do your first step of this, you can just click him again and he'll just give you the exact same thing over and you can do the same step three times. Granted, these puzzles aren't super challenging, but it does make it a little bit faster. So I'm good there. I think it's just prayer, right? I think prayer's the move. Because everything else I can work on. Let's just lock it in at prayer. Pr prayer's always a good option regardless. 30 prayer feels kind of bad, but uh, just seems like a good option. What does the giant spider give? Nothing. Good. Oh, I wanted to see if I can go in the ham hideout, actually. If I can get in the ham hideout, that's a big, big situation for me. No. Does the highwayman have a better drop table? <laughs> Jailer will be something interesting for the future. How, what does the highwayman look like? He's over here, I think, yeah? He always drops a black cape. And he has a 20% chance, or a 1 in 20 chance of dropping iron bolts. So I can go 20 highwaymen in my time here on, uh, in Gilinor. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh my god. Oh, we're just annihilating him. Oh my god. He's got three health. We hit threes in our sleep. We hit ones in our sleep while we're dead on our... Okay, thank you. Oh. I mean, that just... That feels nice. It's got a small defense bonus. Oh, we're such a unit. Let's move over here. We're such a unit, dude. Oh, my God. That looks nice. Okay. Well, we haven't gotten any good defense drops, but uh, at least we've got a cape. <laughs> we did a lot of progress. We got a lot of things done. And uh, we've got a lot to think about. Ooh, Dark Wizard. Oh. Maybe next time. Have a good night, everybody.